Hi, my name is Helmut Flash, and I'm going to answer a question which I get from doctors all the time, and that is, how do I get referrals from other doctors? How do I get an increased amount of referrals from other doctors? I'm not there for 220 years already, and all those things, and, and uh, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me tell you this. Okay, of course this applies, the, the question I get, uh, you know, uh, from doctors like, you know, an orthodontist who needs referral from dentists or cardiologists and that type of doctors who need to get referrals. Um, there definitely is, and remind me, there's on the other side a video about the question you should ask about referrals and where you could get referrals from doctors which you now never ever get. Not part of this video, but you should watch uh, the other video for free. So, there are two major part of what you should do to get referrals from doctor. But before I talk about that, let me talk about what most doctors do and that it doesn't work. Okay, most doctors say I'm a good doctor, I am, um, have modern equipment, I have the best equipment, I go to continuous education and I graduated in a fantastic college and my service will complement your service and we will help the patient better and I'm sending you wonderful report, I'm, I'm going to very, be very good about um, communicating to you back from the patient. That's what you say because consultants out there tell you that this reporting back and all that stuff, that's important to other people. And you being a professional think that that's important to the doctor of you being it. Every other doctor tells him that. There isn't a single doctor who doesn't say the same thing. Nobody says I have bad equipment and I graduated last in school and all that stuff. So, forget that stuff. It doesn't work. Luncheons with doctors are like begging to you. Admit it, okay? in most cases and on top of it you get busy you don't have the time they always get cancelled so what do you need to do two things number one maybe more important than you know number one you need to get friendly with the staff the office manager the receptionist the nurses those are the ones you need to get friendly you need to deliver things to them which you need to communicate about stuff to them which has nothing to do with the practice, nothing to do with you saying I'm a good doctor and all that type of stuff. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No, it's not bringing them donuts either, which doesn't mean you couldn't do that every so often, but no, it's not what it is all about at all. What it is about is you doing things in the community which are people orientated, not doctor orientated which are orientated of doing things for children, whether it's helping them off drugs and whether it is doing this type of things. And no, those things do not take a lot of time. Again, you'll find out about that on the video. They don't take time at all. It's a concept, actually. It's not really anything else but having a concept about things. Let the staff know and they will start referring to you. Staff spends way more time with the patient and staff is way more influential than the doctor about it. However, you should also communicate with the doctor, not about your profession, not about how good you are, but help, them, help the doctor with things he needs. What does he need help with? Marketing, business, he, even maybe with his kids. You go, well, how do I know? You don't know. Send him stuff which will maybe help him with that, a little newsletter tip, a little tip on marketing, something you have seen and heard and would worked in your practice or have seen from a marketing consultant like me. Um, and send it to them. There, however, are plenty of tips for you on the other side of unadvertised.com slash free. Unadvertised.com slash free is where you find out more about that. But keep these three things in mind. Don't talk about your profession, how good you are. Make sure you get cozy with the staff on non-clinical matters and make sure you get cozy with the doctor on non-clinical matters. That's it. Do those three things and referrals will come in and don't forget the other things. There's a question about referrals that you could get referrals from people who never have a clinical reason to refer you and that question will be answered on the other side also. See you there. Bye.